As the name implies, a skybox is generally what makes up the sky in a video game, but it's also a technique for generating backgrounds in general, so you might even see a skybox in an unusual place, like underground, underwater, or even in outer space. In the past, skyboxes were simple three-dimensional cubes in which an entire game world or level could exist. Static images are projected onto the inside of the cube to create what we would perceive in the game to be the sky or any different type of background. And then, the cube would be attached to and move along with the player camera. This way, the skybox or game background would always feel like it was something far away. As we mentioned, skyboxes don't always have to just be the sky. Think back to some of your favorite or most iconic 3D game worlds. Are those trees or buildings really far away, or are they just being projected onto a simple piece of geometry that's only just slightly out of reach? Early on, skyboxes had some pretty serious limitations. Images projected onto a skybox were static, so if you looked up or just in the same spot for a little too long, it was pretty easy to break the sense of immersion. As the technology improved, developers found techniques like using shaders to render clouds or rotating the entire skybox to make their 3D worlds feel more realistic. In fact, the tech has progressed so far that most games now use sky domes. As you can imagine, instead of a simple cube, Sky domes in modern games are made up of either a three-dimensional sphere or a hemisphere. In addition, modern techniques like flow mapping allow studios to create full-on moving skies. Algorithmic programming can warp pixels around within static textures mapped onto a sky dome. Two flow maps can be combined to create a looping effect, which is what allows the sky to feel like it goes on forever. Or just, you know, feel more expansive and realistic. A recent game to receive high praise for its skies is Horizon Zero Dawn. That's because the game's developer, Guerrilla Games, spent years developing procedurally generated volumetric clouds that could simulate all different types of weather. Now, you could argue that procedurally generated clouds and weather systems aren't exactly part of a skybox or a sky dome, but it's usually a combination of techniques like this that really create truly stunning and memorable environments. Multiple layers of special effects, geometry, and environment art that players never technically interact with are all combined to create some of our favorite game worlds. From the early days of Doom in Mario 64 to the roaming plains of Red Dead Redemption 2 and the sprawling skies of Ghost of Tsushima, skyboxes have definitely come a long way. Now with graphics cards reaching new visual heights in presentation and fidelity via ray tracing, next generation consoles like the PS5 and Series X incorporating that technology, it's pretty exciting to think about what the next few years of video game skies might look like. We might even say, things are looking up 